I figured I would start my little weekend video here because I'm about to head out and go to Waterstones for the first time, which is the big chain bookstore in the UK. So the British equivalent of Barnes & Noble, essentially. And I'm probably going to have to restrain myself from buying books that I won't be able to bring back with me in my suitcase, but I'm going there to get a card to send home and I might just wander around Princess Street. I haven't explored um, that area too much, mostly because I, I don't need to shop or buy anything. I, I can only bring so much back with me. But it is Friday. I do have homework to do. But, you know, it's basically the weekend. Okay, today is Saturday and it is quite damp and grey out, which just never happens in Scotland. <laughs> no, but um, in all seriousness, it might rain today, so my friends and I are going to go do something that's a little more indoors. We're going to go see the Royal Botanical Gardens and all the greenhouses and whatnot, so it's a bit of a hike, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. I've heard amazing things. I'm also wearing a Scooby-Doo t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. My mom loves wolves.
think you said that too, it's really about people. Right. You know, it's Because they're huge and big, right? Big daddy fish. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I want one of these. I want one of these about that one here. I just got back from the botanical gardens and they were spectacular. We mostly just visited and toured the greenhouses because obviously the outdoor gardens haven't bloomed. It's January. Um, so we went into the greenhouses of which there are, I think it was 10 maybe. Um, they're extensive and just stunning. Um, there were different sort of climates and plants in each greenhouse and I mean the fragrance and the air in each was also different and it was nice to go again get some fresh air see some greenery and the walk there was very pleasant but I also wanted to show the one little thing I bought in the gift shop which is a postcard um, I'm doing a little like a travel journal so I got this to stick in there. I got one from Pit Lockery as well, um, which is already stuck in my journal, but I think it'll be nice to have some little mementos of my time here. I definitely want to go back in the spring when everything starts to bloom though. I think that will be beautiful. Okay, so today is Sunday and my friends and I are about to head out to the National Museum of Scotland. So I'm incredibly excited and can't wait. I'm definitely a bit of a museum nerd. <laughs>
we are around here. from the National Museum, which was incredible. Um, my friends and I, we only hit the sort of end cap exhibits. That would be like all of the natural history stuff and technology and the history of technological advancements and whatnot, because the museum is huge. Um, and we didn't want to rush through all the exhibits to finish it in a day. 
So we're gonna go back. We have more than four months left here. Admission is free. We can certainly go back and I would want to anyway. So we're gonna do the more history and art kind of exhibits later on. But I think my favorite thing this time was seeing Dolly the sheep, which is the first animal cloned from adult DNA. So an adult sheep's DNA. Um, and so they had her Dolly displayed and that was incredible and made my little science nerd heart very happy. I also got a postcard. You can see a pattern emerging here. This is the like main room of the museum and if you've been out, uh, you know, these are sort of like exhibits on the sides here and then there are exhibits at the end and the other end um, that is like the opposite of this one. So I did the end ones and you still need to do the side stuff. I'm gonna stick this in my travel journal and go make lunch, very late lunch, and then go grocery shopping. Yeah. Here's the pasta. 